Roger Hook from my high school sports on this Sunday. Sunday, 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 right before the fourth, folks. We're going to bring it to you. We've been gone for a couple weeks, but hey, we got to take a summer vacation ourselves. We do. We can't always be in the studio shooting shows, but you know, when we put helmets on the on the table, what time is it, Big E? It's football time. Football time. It's folks, we're about a, hey, we're about a, what, about a month away? About a month, yeah. A little, little over a month, but yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, zero week, man. Going to have some real... Some real big time games. You'll have that Cha Cha versus uh Dell City over at, at the Jacket Land. Yeah. And I remember Coach Corbin said, I don't lose at home. I win a hundred out of hundred. So <laughs> Coach Jones, you better bring it. Because hey, Corbin hey, said he don't lose at home. That's gonna be a great game with you know, with all the new pieces that uh Dell City has added and the new look uh Choctaw team. You know, a lot of their guys have graduated out and playing in college. Um, you know, that should be a really good game and then uh, you know, uh, we'll get into it later, but also that Carl Albert, uh, Carl Albert and Dell City matchup. That'll be one to look forward to as well. Yeah, you know, they probably won't be able to see each other to playoffs, though. You know you don't what think I mean? so? Oh, they won't see each other to playoffs, man. They both added some new pieces. We got to spend a couple, couple guests. Hey, I know we got a Cherry Empty. Jonah should be showing up anytime. Um, his favorite line, don't wait on no man, but I know he had to take care of some business. <laughs> so uh, we're going we're gonna to have Kiwan Jones, the outstanding running back at Jinx years, years ago. And then played at OU, you know, from 2000, what, I think it was 2002 to 2005. Um, you know, was a running back there. He'll talk about that. We're going to talk about his son. Just got a, uh, an offer from OU. So that's pretty cool that your dad played at OU. Uh, now, you know, now he has a chance to go play at OU. And he's just yep. going to be just be a sophomore. Uh, he was over at Broken Arrow last year. We're going to talk about him, what made him leave BA to go over to his, back to where he went to school. But, man, I tell you right now, he, not only is it hot, at these football games, but it's hot outside. Oh, yeah, definitely, which, uh, you know, I missed all the hot weather last week. I know y'all, we were in some triple digits last week, but I was in uh, Tennessee up in the Smoky Mountains last week with uh, my church group, and uh, we had a good time out there. Learned a lot, got to see the mountains, and yes, just kind of yes, have sir. a good time, so it was awesome. It seems like we both was right around the corner from each other, you yeah. know. Uh, last, you know, last week, uh, we was gone for about a week, you know, and that's why I said uh, last few weeks we've been busy, you know. That's why we haven't had no shows, but, you know, you know, when it's, like, even this week is dead week for high school teams, and you know, they're shut down, they can't do anything, uh, so uh, it's, it's pretty... It's pretty cool because, like I said, we're, we're about a month away from, you know, really getting off into uh, the kickoff of the season, man, and getting these coaches on. Like I said, we'll have Kiwan, then we'll have Coach Jones. That's why I got – I mean, Coach Dunn uh, from the Carl Albert Titans, man. I tell you what he's doing over there with Carl Albert is outstanding. Not, you know, what he's done with the program, the, you know, the few years he's been there, but just getting kids recruited. Not saying they didn't before, but uh, I tell you, when you got that many kids, you know, his running back just signed – Last week to uh, yeah. University of Oklahoma, man. Yes, and, Boomer you know, Sooner. Boomer Sooner. There you go. Uh, but, you know, like I said, they're getting ready for the SEC, so they got to start loading kids and getting kids in your in your, in your backyard. Don't let them go play elsewhere, cause especially now they're going to be in the SEC, so kids, you know, can go to, you know, uh, uh, a Texas A&M or, or even Texas now. They, they join the SEC with them. Yep. But, you know, they're going to get to still play at home because, they'll, you know, they'll be facing uh, OU. But, uh, e, you could talk about OU schedule before we get really jump into it. Uh, when they join the SEC, what, what's it going to be Man, like? That, uh, you know, we were, they released, they went ahead and released the schedule or uh, released the opponents, not necessarily the schedule. We don't know when and uh, when exactly those games will be happening, but uh, they have the opponents set out for uh, OU. And, you know, you got Alabama coming to town. Woo! Tennessee coming to town. Tennessee. And then you got, uh, I think we got S- South Carolina coming to town too. Uh, and then you got uh, on the road, you got LSU on the road. Man, that's tough, baby. I think you got Ole Miss on the road as well. E, that's so, tough. Yeah, I mean, that's a, they, they gave us a pretty tough schedule. They're not a. I, I, I tell you, yeah. I mean, you talk about that schedule. You going five and five, that's a winning season. <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you, you go five tough. and five. And it, I mean, I know they play more games than that, but I just tell you, man, each game is, is a bowl game. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, welcome to the SEC of Oklahoma, Texas. Uh, you're going to have your work cut out. Uh, do I think you should have stayed in the Big 12? Yes, but um, you're going to be able to get more highly recruits now because you are in the SEC. You're going to be able to get guys. I know Stone hasn't decided where he's going to go. I know he's still a big name out there, but uh, OU starting to pick up on offers. You know, guys left and right starting to come home to the you know Boomer Sooner and, and not leaving. So, um it's going to be really interesting when college football starts off. But like I said, high school is where, you know, where we make our money at and get to talk about. But, I mean, high school football here in Oklahoma is hot too, man. You know, kids yeah. moving around and, um, you know, and, and it, it's so funny because, you know, when we talk to Kiwan, we'll talk to Coach Dunn. Is, you know, what what happened to high school football? I mean, it seemed like 
the, high, the the college transfer portal got everything started, and it seemed like now they're doing it in high school like it's nothing. And, and you can't really do nothing about it because everybody want to have that super team, which, hey, I respect that 100% because, I mean, everybody wants to win that state championship. Who would want to put a, a state ring on your finger and say you're part of a state championship? And uh, I know Carl Albert knows that well – Better, probably better than anybody else in this state, you know, besides uh, some of the other teams like Jinx and Bigsby's been on the hot tear. Uh, back in the day, it used to be Ada. Uh, you know, the Bombers had some back in the day. But I tell you right now, uh, Carl Albert is, is, is rocking and rolling, you know. Coach Don got those guys fired up. And I think the rankings came out. And I think uh, uh, I think Carl Albert was number one. Yeah. I think, yeah. Uh, uh, do, you have them? do you have them up over there? Or? I do not, no. Uh, I think Carl Albert was one. I think they're up on uh, Prep Sport. I think I was looking yeah, at it this Prep morning. Red Zone. Yeah, I think Carl Albert was one. Dale City was two, uh, which, you know, should be the favorite. Then you got Elgin in there. You got Guthrie. I think Guthrie was three. Then you got Elgin. I mean, Elgin's a team that, you know, is up and coming in the 5A uh, program. So it just tells you, you know, what it's like. And I think and if you look in a 6A small, I think uh, – I think, uh, well, Skogie was one, then Chata was two. Then if you look at another poll, Chata's one, uh, Muskogee two. I think those would be the top. I think the top four teams, and I'm, I'm going to say in 6A small, is going to yeah. be Chata, um, uh, Muskogee. you got to look out uh, for Stillwater. Still. Stillwater, deal, Stillwater's still going to be good. Deer Creek, you can't count yeah. them out. Um, you know, there's always going to be an up-and-coming team. But i tell you, Biggie, the biggest thing is, is, is keeping people what? Healthy. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it all boils down to who can stay healthy. You know, if you can stay healthy and keep your players healthy and not get banged up, man, it's a long season. Uh, you know, Carl Albert went through that last year losing Reed and then, you know, him coming back at the end of the year and helping them go on to win their, their next gold ball. So, I just tells you how – how important it is, is keeping guys healthy, though. But I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this season coming up, you know. I think it's going to be our, what, third or fourth season covering high yeah, school think, football. Yeah, I think it'll be um, our fourth. Yeah, and, and, and Big E, when he started, he was a baby. Yeah. Now he's a man. He's 21, <laughs> folks. He can, he, can, he can drink a, a grown man's beverage now. <laughs> <laughs> I can, yeah. Uh, yeah, last time you saw me, I was, uh, I was about to turn 21. Here we are a month later. I'm 21, you know. Uh, I haven't been going too crazy. You know, I had to – I, I got to – keep it uh, under what's the word i gotta be responsible about it but you know hey, you're 21 you only get to be 21 <laughs> once and you enjoy that 21 i couldn't yeah. tell you how long ago i was 21 because i'm 51 so that just tells you <laughs> how it is but i just tell you man happy birthday i know uh Appreciate like i said it. we all been on the road but like i said uh i'm coming yeah. back from au nationals uh zoe and the, and, and the crush queen girls went up there and played i uh, had a really really good chance to win it uh lost in the semifinals uh to a team out of texas beat some really good teams though you know we beat a team out of minnesota a nike team that's uh, a circuit team uh, beat them pretty good beat about 25 beat the defending champions from last year mo grind uh out of missouri mo grind elite uh really really good team got a real good guard um uh, their, the coach's daughter, her name is Zoe, too. The little girl can go, man. She's all downhill. Um, we did a really good job wrapping her up. It had been a really, really great game, 42 to 41. Uh, the girls played outstanding. I mean, all of them, you know, I think Zoe, my Zoe had a, a really good game. I think she had nine points, uh, you know, hit a couple of, she had, she had some, a big time three, a couple of jumpers. You know, I, I love seeing yeah. a jump. I tell you, the biggest, biggest problem I, I had, he, she couldn't make a layup. <laughs> Couldn't make a layup. Couldn't make a layup. She could make hey. a layup, boy. She, she'd been dangerous. But, uh, like I said, <laughs> overall, though, we had a really, really good time hanging out. Uh, we did some team bonding stuff. You know, it was just really good. Uh, like I said, if you've never been to Tennessee, um, you know, we got a chance to go by the campus. Uh, Peyton Manning sits out there, yeah. you know, with a torch in his hand, you know, with fire coming out. So, uh, <laughs> just a pretty, like he said, pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah. I mean, it's so pretty there, folks. I don't like all the – Hills and mounds and all that. Oh, man, but, I love it. Uh, I but love I, it. I, I just tell you, though, but you talk about a, someone that's nice and green and pretty. Um, the weather was nice, too. Even when yeah. it, it got hot, it wasn't like Oklahoma hot. Um, I did, you know, we, we kind of cut the trip uh, in half. We stopped in um, Memphis driving. We, we yeah. drove to Memphis and hung out. I think it was called Bill Street. Uh, we went on a Wednesday night. It was biker night, man. You're talking about I saw some of the coolest motorcycles ever in my life, man. I mean, it was just a, a great atmosphere. If you haven't been to Memphis, uh, got a chance to eat a place, a uh, good, nice barbecue place there. Uh, like I said, we had a good time, you know, me and the girls and Jessica, you know, and, and, and like I said, just a, a week of hanging out with your with your family and the team was 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 a, was a really, really, really good time. So enjoyed it. Like I said, we didn't take first. We came in uh, top four. 
um, out of out of fifty teams in the in the Division One bracket, it was called. Uh, it was it was a really really good tough team. I mean tough tournament. You know, I mean when you get down to that Final Four, I man, anybody can win it. Um, you know, do I think we should have won it? Yes, but uh, things happen sometimes. The ball don't bounce your way. That's just part of the game. You got to go play the game. Uh, you might look good on paper, but you still got to go play the game. But uh, it was a good lesson uh, experience for. My daughter and, and the rest of the girls, though, to go play in some of the top competitions, though, you know, like I said, uh, you know, we sat up, you know, some nights as as a dads and, and Coach Dre sat up and watched a little game film. The Nike team, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of worried about them. They had one little girl could just flat out just pull up on you and say, pow, pow. I mean, she had that, <laughs> she had that uh, uh, what's old boy's name for the uh, Dallas Mavericks, uh, Luca, Luca. Yeah. she had his kind of range, man. She just pull uh-huh. up on you, man, and she was tall and lanky. But you know, we really we did a really good job on her, containing her and, and, and slowing her down. Uh, she makes the team go, but we put that D on her that uh, that you know a lot of people don't see. And then we played a team out of Cali. Uh, 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 they were really good uh, team. Uh, the little girl looks like Kobe Bryant's daughter, man. I saw her the first day of the tournament. I went to her. She probably was like, "Who's this stranger guy?" I said, "Who you?" I said, "You know who you look like?" She kind of. I have to give I said, you know, like Kobe's little brother. She's a good little guard, and uh, we we shut her down, man. They was a tough team, though. They were, man. They didn't give up. We got up on by 16, and I think we ended up winning by six. But that's what I said. When you get down to them, them final eight, final, you know, uh, eight teams, boy, you, anybody can win it. But overall, though, it was, a, it was a great, great tournament, though. That's good. That's good. Um, you know, I've been following a lot of golf lately, too. Okay, talk so, to So, uh, you know, today or uh, – the, when we're recording this, it's Sunday. But, uh, you know, you had Taylor Gooch yes. winning at the uh, Live Tour uh, this week. Um, you know, that's his third win uh, of the season. Uh, you know, he's been making a lot of money this year winning all those tournaments. And uh, now He's from – where is he from? He's Oklahoma? from Iowa City. Yeah, no, yeah. but did he go to – where did he go to college? He went to OSU, Oklahoma State. Okay, okay. Yep, and then you had uh, Ricky Fowler winning today as well, who also went to Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. Yeah. If you're, look, uh, if you're looking to go play golf in Oklahoma, where do you go? Oklahoma State. I hate to say that, but, but hey, OU's State. golf team, they're getting there too. They're getting there. Uh, you know, they had a – what they won a national championship, I think it was a couple years ago. But um, – Anyway, so yeah, OSU. I mean, if you're an OSU golf fan, you've got to be pretty proud of yourself today, and proud of those, uh, proud of those Cowboys. You know, with uh, Taylor Gooch and Ricky Fowler both winning today on their respective tours, and then also, I mean, this is kind of old news now, but uh, you know, the merger that has happened between uh, the Live Tour, the PGA Tour, and the DP World Tour. Uh, so you'll have all those guys, you know, coming together. I think as soon as next year, you'll have all those guys uh, playing together. You know, I'm kind of interested to see how that's going to work out. Um, you know, I mean, still a fairly new uh, thing that has happened, and there's still a lot of details to be worked out. But I'm excited for it. I know a lot of people aren't for it, but as just a fan of golf, you know, just going out there, loving to watch guys play, loving to play myself, you know, I, I think it's great for the sport. You know, uh, used, used to be golf was one of those things that, you know, all the older crowd was into, but uh, all the things that they're doing to change the game now, you got a lot more of uh, younger people, a lot more youth involved in the sport, and I, I think it's great, you know. And, um, you know, it's it, golf's one of those sports. You know, you it's, it's relaxing. You get out on the course. You know, it's just you and the ball and some friends. And uh, you know, I just love it. I love it. So that's big time. You know, we had a golfer on the show. You know, uh, a couple months back, Chris Crawford. Uh, yeah. I know he's out playing some some some, some big time tournaments uh, the last few weeks. But he got a cousin over at Chata. Uh, that's really, really good, man, and he's uh, getting recruited. Uh, I can't think of his name right off the back. I think his last name's Abney. I uh, played Preston Alby. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually, it's funny. I actually, uh, I was out at John Conrad uh, hitting on the driving range and on the chipping green and everything, and he's out there, and he's probably, he sets his self up about 65, 70 yards from the, from the hole, and he's over here hitting chips. And I tell you, he's putting every single shot, bet- like, within five, six feet of the hole. I mean, it's, a, it's incredible what he's able to do. He just a, he's course. just a junior. He's just and a junior. Yeah, he'll be going into his junior year. That's what I was. I, I went over there and talked to him, and I. We gotta I have figured, him on the show. You we know, do, we had we, we had his cousin on the show, Chris. Yeah. Carr, but man, you know the uh, you know I, I talked to Chris, his uncle, and uh, he was showing me uh, everybody that's recruiting him, man. And um, oh, yeah. I mean, this kid had everybody on there. I mean, he had Duke. I mean, he had. Uh, OU, OSU. He's ranked like top uh, 10 in the nation. Uh, in TCU. Class, so. I mean, I mean, they're sending him. He's going to have, he's going to be able to go wherever he wants to go. He's that good. Man, I mean, just, so. he just, I mean, this yeah. kid was a, you know, uh, play point guard for Chata. Uh, I think he's not going to play basketball no more. He's going to just concentrate, which, I mean, I, I don't mind. I mean, I mean, I mean do it. I mean, yeah. the kid's going to make millions. You know, he's going to yeah. be like another Gooch or Fowler, man. And, and I tell you, uh, 
just you know just to see the flyer that Chris showed me of all the teams that's recruiting him. And I mean, uh, one of them was uh, Notre Dame, and you know, and I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna take that visit at Notre Dame, even though he don't go, just to say you went to South Bend, yeah, and, and go to a, a college football game at South Bend, man. Uh, but man, just tell you a kid in our backyard is getting recruited like that. That's that's big time though, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and he's a homegrown kid. It's not like he's he's moved in. He's been a top top kid from day one. And I think he has a little brother that plays a little bit of football. Uh, um, so I mean, I'm just telling you, man, that family is just you know both sides is athletic, you know, with the Crawfords in in them, man. So uh, good luck to that young man. Like I said, I love to have him on the show because like I, said, I don't know much about golf. I can sit and listen to you and you and him talk about <laughs> golf, but. Just to see a young man like him doing the thing he's doing, uh, I think is outstanding, though, what he's doing for the, you know, the state of Oklahoma, though. I mean, like yeah. you said, to have that many offers, man. And, I mean, I think he's just a junior. As soon as I, I don't know when the, when the, the day they can start recruiting you. I think it's uh, as soon as he starts, like, his uh, – I think they were able to start talking. I, when I was talking to him out on the golf course, uh-huh. I was talking to him. He said it was uh, – I think he – at that time, there was only like a couple more months until they could start reaching out to him. So Man, I, I think I, I think I think he's able to start receiving those phone calls now. Oh, he's, getting he's getting them. Yeah. I mean, he's getting them. So. They're sending pictures with with him on it. I know TCU uh, is all over him, man. I know. I think TCU talking to Chris. He was thinking he was saying TCU's coach was assistant coach at OU, or so now you know he knows him. And I know just watching him, um, they went. He went played at a tournament. And they, they, they was there watching him. And so, I mean, I, I tell you, these people own this young man. So, good luck to him. I know he's going to choose the right school. Not only is he a great golfer, but he's a great af- I mean, great student, student in, yeah. in, in the classroom. So, that goes a long way. So, you can go to any school you, you know, you want to go to because, you know, you're going to be able to hit the books and still hit that little – ball and drive it to where you need to drive it so uh yeah. good luck to him but um like i said like i said we're gonna have a hot show folks you know we'll have key key one jones coming on man uh known key one for a while just because our daughters play basketball against each other so i uh, get to see him i mean he's been out of football for a while but just to still be able to talk to a guy that that played at the highest level at ou yeah uh and then you know now seeing his son get recruited at the high level so uh, i think that's gonna be really interesting to see what you know uh, you know what's he talking about and what kind of you know what kind of uh, tips he give his son you know to yeah. hey let's go to the next level and, and, and go play college ball because you know if you got OU recruiting you everybody else is going to start recruiting him too and like I said the kid's just going to be a sophomore uh, he went to OU's camp uh, a few weeks back and kind of showed out and, and, and then guess what bing he gets an offer so that just tells you right there uh, you know you go to those camps man and, and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna pay off folks so uh, you know, you got a young one out there, uh, send them to those camps. I mean, sometimes you might not think they're going to have a chance, but, you know, if your kid can run a 4 2, 4 3, uh, people's going to pick them up because they're going to find somewhere to play them. If it's kickoff return, pump return, uh, you know, a little slap back, I mean, whatever, they're going to find somewhere to put them at to get the ball in his hand and have him go score. Because, oh, you know, they're going to this SEC. They got to have every, every, yeah. every, every chamber loaded, ready to go because, like he said, that schedule, it ain't no, it ain't no easy games. You ain't going to get no uh, <laughs> cupcake. You ain't going to get no West Virginia. You ain't going to. I can't talk about Kansas because they've come up in the last they've few come up, years. Yeah. But I'm just going to tell you right now, man, it's going to be interesting. The Big 12 is going to change a little bit with some yeah. of the teams they're yeah, bringing you, you in. Got all, you got all the new teams joining this year. So, I mean, you got uh, UCF, Houston, Cincinnati, and I always forget the last one. UCF, Cincinnati, Houston. Uh, you said Cincinnati. Uh, was it Houston? You said yeah, Houston. Yeah, I said Houston, Cincinnati. A bunch wow. of American conference teams. Yeah, so oh, gonna, BYU. Uh, BYU. Yeah. And BYU's BYU. a good team, though. I mean, yeah. they, they found a way. Um, I mean, they beat OU uh, years, years back uh, yeah. over at the, at, at the uh, Alamo. I mean, not the Alamo Bowl, but uh, the new stadium that they built for Dallas. I was at that game and uh, watched, I think, uh, quarterback got hurt, and BYU put it on us that game. So, uh, BYU's been one of those teams in the top 10, top 15 every year. So, uh, folks, like I said, we're going to have another great hot show. We'll, we'll, we'll get a jump in with Key One. After what? After one of our sponsors. Keep it at 100. What? Oklahoma, Oklahoma High School, School Sports, Sports Bureau. Right. right back. With 25 years' experience in the industry, Linex Customs OKC is your one-stop shop for all your vehicle accessory needs. Specializing in spray-in liners, lifts, levels, wheels, tires, bed covers, and anything else you need to make your ride look and sound better. Call Eric and the boys at 405-778-8878. Welcome back to Keeping 100 of my Oklahoma High School Sports. Like I said, on this Sunday, Sunday, hot Sunday, right before the 4th, people's getting ready to pop them fireworks. But you know how we do it over this show. We get it hot and jumping because, right, we're, we're, like I said, we're about a month and a half away from high school football. But we got, a, we got one of the old... OU stars back in the day, Jinx, 
I know everybody know what he did with, I guess, catching that little slant, taking it 80 yards. It's been years ago, but it act like it happened yesterday. How you doing, Mr. Kiwan Jones? I'm doing good, man. How you doing? And hey, we can't complain, man. It's me and Big E. Uh, we're waiting on Jonah, but he ain't here, but we got the show got to go on, though. But, you know, we just want to call <laughs> uh, and, and talk a little bit of high school football. I know you, you know, you played at the highest level, and, uh, you know, your son is, is getting recruited, and I know you got two beautiful daughters and uh, that both play uh, basketball. So, you know, we get to see each other around the courts a little bit. But, you know, as a father, yeah. I just want to ask you, you know, I mean, how do you feel, man, you having, you know, three, you know, three great athletes, you know, I mean, what's, what's it like, you know, now that you played the game at the highest level now you get to get back to your kids and and get them ready to go play at the highest level oh man it's a you know definitely it's a it's a blessing man you know it's a it's a definitely a good a good thing to you know to, to see you know obviously you know with me and my wife and you know what we created and uh, for them to go out there you know see them be successful at the stuff that you know that they want to do in life so yeah it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing that's big time. So, you know, like I said, you know, your son was at BA, and now he goes to school where you played your high school, uh, including that at, over at uh, Jinx now. You know, um, you know, as a father, you know, you always got to do what's best for your kids. I t- you know, I tell people that all the time. You know, sometimes you got to right. make sacrifices, you know, uh, even though it might be good here, but, you know, what putting him with this puzzle over here might be the end of making, making that puzzle fit. So, um, you know, what was your decisions to, you know, decide, hey, I'm going to leave BA, which BA is a good school. Where everybody knows all the Tulsa teams are loaded, but now you take them to the school yeah. where you play that. You know, what was y'all's kind of decision on that? Oh, man, it was just, um, you know, it was kind of like uh, – you know, just, you know, just getting back, basically just getting back home, man, to that, you know, to tradition, what took care of me, man, you know what I'm saying, what I know what, what elevated my game, yes, sir. and, uh, you know, and, you know, as a man, and, you know, put, put me where I needed to be, and that was, uh, you know, under, under Coach Triple, and, you know, in the Jinx Trojan, so, you know, I just felt like as a, you know, head of the household, and, and everything that, you know, that was the best, that's the best spot for my son as a, as a player, um, and, um, you know, be able to go in there and, uh, you know, anywhere like Jinx and to be able to play, you know, and then definitely, you know, from me playing there, it was just, uh, I think it was just fitting. No, Keywon, I mean, it's pretty cool, like you said. I mean, I know it's a tough decision. You know, your son was a freshman last year at BA and he, he rushed over a thousand yards, uh, you know, and, that, and that's pretty cool to see a young man at that age, you know, I mean, 14, 15 years old coming in as a freshman and rush for, you know, a thousand yards, especially in big six, a, it ain't like he's playing in two A. he's playing in big six, a yeah. against some of the big top, you know, some of the top, top schools in, in, in the state. And, 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 you know, and, and BA has a tough, you know, it's a tough schedule. It's not like they're playing cupcakes, uh, but you know, they're, they're coming right. out playing that some of the top teams, you know, and, and what he did for them uh, is big time. I know it, it probably, Hurts him a little bit, but you know, like you said, you put him in a better situation where you play that, and anybody that knows that program um, better than anything is you, you know, playing there. And like I said, I know you played for the great Tribble. I mean, one of the best coaches around um, in, 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 the, in the state of Oklahoma, man. So, um, you know, looking going forward to, you know, adding him to Jinx, what do you think that's going to help Jinx uh, bring the Jinx? You know, because you got Bigsby right now that everybody is trying to catch, but I think. You know, adding your son to that is going to help them um, uh, maybe be able to take that that climb over Bigsby. Yeah, um, I mean, like I said, you know, uh, you got to give credit what credit is due with Bigsby and you know Coach Montgomery, what he's uh, established over there, and obviously, you know, everything he's doing. A lot of it, at least from my eyes, is you know he learned from uh, Coach Trimble. So, uh, um, but uh, yeah, I think uh, you know adding my son to Jinx and uh, what I've seen so far. Um, I think, you know, that puts Jinx, you know, right back in there for, you know, uh, for the run of the state, you know, the state championship, you know, but it's early, you know, a lot, a lot of things can happen, but, uh, you know, uh, you know, with, with, with Katie, you know, uh, you know, like, like I tell him all the time, you know, we've been doing this, you know, since, you know, since day one, you know, that's one thing that, uh, ever since, you know, he's been born, you know, he's been running that rock and, you know, started playing football early and he's been one of the best players on the field that you know, at all times. So that's the one thing that I've kind of told him, you know, if he really wants to, you know, conti- you know, continue the legacy and create his own legacy is uh, he has a great chance to do it now that uh, he's at Jinx and with the, the guys that at Jinx that he's going to be playing with, with, um, you know, I think he has a definite good chance to, uh, to turn that tide now back, yeah, back to where it should be. Yeah, that's big time. You know, you know, you, let's talk about you for a second. You know, you was at OU uh, back in, you know, 2002, you know, OU was, uh, so you played for, for Coach Stoops, right? 
Oh yeah, coach. Yeah, yeah coach Stoops. My yeah, guy. Yeah. 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 So you played for Stoops, and you know, I mean, you know, you before Stoops got there, they was kind of in the downfall, man. You know, they went through some different coaches. You know, uh, and, and wasn't winning games. You know, they did win a championship in you know 2000, and now you know you got to play there from 2002 to 2005, and and then you was there with some some top notch running backs. And I was sitting there looking at your stats uh-huh. this morning. I mean, your sophomore year, you had a hell of a year. You know. You had over 225 carries for 925 yards, 13 TDs. As you can see, as the years went on, I think that's when Adrian came, right? Um, that with right, the, right, and, the next year. Yeah, and so you can kind of see your carries went down, but they get, they kind of use you as a power back. Uh, you know, as your son going into this, you know, uh, Jinx already got a good running back, and so, you know, and you know mm-hmm. what it's like to battle with other running backs. What are you telling him, hey, keep your head up because you are going to have other guys because don't they got a running back that's a 1,000-yard rush or two? Yeah, yeah, Jordan, Jordan, uh, Jordan Schilling. He's a uh, uh, yes, he's over there. He's uh, definitely a, a great back. Well, man, just like I tell, you know, the one one of the main reasons why we came came to Jinx is because you know, you know, everybody, you know, not everybody, you know, it takes a. I'm not saying that my son is not special, but you know, it's it's hard to do it all by yourself. Hey, Amen. You know what I mean? So, um, um, and so that's what that's one thing that he knows. Because uh, you know, when I came to Jinx, you know, we had a, there was already. It's kind of almost the same situation that I kind of look at it because, um, you know, they got Jordan, you know, that KD came here. But, uh, you know, Jinx had Bobby Clink, you know, when I came. Yes, sir. So the situation is almost the same, you know. So uh, I just kind of been molding him and just kind of telling him the things that, I, you know, I went through. But, you know, and just kind of how to be, man. But he wants to win that state championship. So as a player that's eager to win that state title, he, he's going to, you know, they're, they're, they're already gelling well together and, I don't, I don't. I don't see it being any problems at all. You know what I mean. So, um, and also he's playing both sides of the ball now. So it's going to be real exciting this year for him. And uh, you know, like I say, not one one guy can win it all by himself. So, KD and Jordan, they're going to be a great one-two combination. Uh, that's going to be giving a lot of a uh, lot of trouble to a lot of defenses this year. Hey, Key One, I'm, I'm going to give you a real shout-out real quick, man, because as a father, man, it, it's good that you say that because some dads are so damn, and I'm keeping it 100, are so damn stubborn. Yeah. About it's all about their kid. And for you to say, hey, you know what? I know they got a 1,000-yard rush over here, but I'm going to take my son over here because, one, he's a running back. And and my brother right. sat next to me. You know, he played at Midwest City. He played running back, and his son's a running back. He's an up-and-coming seventh grader, and, he, and he's going to be special too. But, but the thing yeah. I'm saying, though, Key, Key One, you're saying, hey, my son can go here and, and, and compete, but he's also going to have, you know, he's going to share the carries. And I tell people all the time, well, and you know as a running back, you don't want to take – It keeps the miles. Take the miles off. Right. Well, you know, that, that, that's funny, man, because, uh, you know, I, you know, I, you know, I was, like you say, I get what you're saying, you know, as a father, you know, because I'm obviously, yeah, I'm, I'm, my, I'm my son's biggest fan. Yes, he sir. knows that, I mean, I'm going to ride for mine, you know, today one. But, you know, I always keep it real with him about other players and, you know what the offense needs from him, and or, or the defense needs from him. So he's that type of player, man, that understands that. You know, yes, you know, um, other guys got to get theirs, but he's been molded to understand though too that if you're a dominant player, you, you're going to be able to fit in in any system, and they're going to they're going to those guys are going to understand that, and they're going to they're going to jump jump right on with everybody else. So I don't like I said, man, he's that type of kid. He's that type of player to where I don't see and, – and Jinx is that type of program to where you can bring a kid in like him and to where they're all going to gel together, man. And like I said, I just look at, at my situation of when I went to uh, Jinx, man, and I had no problems at all. Now that's big time, though. Like you said, man, you know, he's getting to play in the, in the top-notch program um, that where you play that, man, you know uh, – have you showed him some of your – I mean, everybody know Kiwan from – I think it was it the Union game. You caught that slant, like two seconds left. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, I remember that like it was – I mean, you know, I'm an old man, but I remember it like it was yesterday, man. And uh, that's something that stuck with me because, you know, I mean, you was a special player back in your days. And, you know, I, and I know it's been 18 years ago. But, uh, but you, you know, for you to, to do that, man, and, and him to see some of your films because I know last week, uh, a couple weeks ago, he went to OU – and is that his first offer he got from uh, that he just received from OU, or does he have some others? Oh no, he got no. That, that was that's actually uh, that's uh, he's actually got that was his fifth one. Okay. OU was the uh, yeah. OU was the fifth. Was his first one was actually from uh, Primetime Dion and then oh, Colorado. Ooh, hey, hey, yeah. Hey, so that was kind of tough. Hey, that's hey, that's a tough decision, Kiki. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Paul, yeah, hey, yeah, you know, <laughs> that's big time. You no, know, definitely, yeah, definitely. What Dion got going, you know, and as a as a black man and you know black father, you know. That's always good to see, you know, but, um, 
You know, that's a, you know, like I tell KD, man, it don't, it don't really matter to me where, you know, you know, the good Lord has blessed him with this ability. And if, you know, the, all whatever college has come his way that, you know, the, he makes that decision where he wants to go, I'm going to be right there in, in, in those colors. So it, it don't matter to me, man. If it's, if it's burnt orange, Texas, it, it is what it is. Oh, like, you know, I got, I, 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 I got my boy, my boy T Choice, my boy T Choice is the running back coach okay, there. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. T, you know, yeah, he, he was at OU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, so it, and that's what's kind of good. You know, what's kind of crazy, especially is that I got a lot of ex teammates, man, that are now coaches, you know, and um, to be for those guys to be able to recruit my son and, you know, for him to start hearing the stories and to understand it. You know, it's it, it's 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 a blessing. It's a special thing, man. That's big time, though. So let's talk about them girls, though, man. Because you got two great daughters that play yeah. basketball. I think. Uh, yeah, I'm actually. Yeah. I think one of them. Yeah, I'm uh, actually up here in uh, Arkansas right now with my oldest. She's okay, playing, and uh, she's in a uh, championship game right now. Are you still a coach, or are you just being a dad now? No, nah, I'm just being a dad, man. I'm just being a dad. <laughs> I, I had I had to get that up, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I still coach, you know, I don't coach my girls, but I still coach 707 football. But when it co- comes to coaching girls basketball, nah, I had to get that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit. I just got back, man. You know, my daughter played in the AU Nationals down there in uh, uh, Tennessee, man, you know, and it was cool. Okay, you know? yeah. A, we had a good time. We ended up finishing fourth. Uh, out of, you know, out of 50 teens, though, you know, like I said, but it was a good experience for her, you know, she had, you know, she had been playing with uh, Kansas United, and I finally, uh, this year, I brought her back to Oklahoma team, you know, she gets to play yeah. with the Twins, and it's, it's been it's been fun, because I was making that trip up and down to Wichita State uh, to go play with United in practice, you know, we did about two or three times a month, I've saved myself yeah. some gas money and some miles on my car, but, um, you know, we're yep, playing, yep, we're, that's, <laughs> I mean, I was doing that same, I was, I had that same rotation going, man, so I know exactly what yeah. you're talking about, both my girls was playing for Kansas United also yeah and then um we decided to you know bring them back home and let them play with their you know basically let them play with the girls that they're gonna be going to school that's with it, that's you know it. in middle that's school it. and high school man so they can get that gelling going no you got to do that man i mean like i said i know a lot of people you know when i left united man you know uh it was it was a big choice because she was a starting point guard and last year they had played in the national champ i mean the au national championship with united they played mo grind uh, they got beat by him, but we had beat him a few weeks before that. But uh, I just tell you right now, I know she's having fun. I know she would never tell me that, man, dad, that drive was, I mean, because we was getting home late, man, and I would have to stick my head yeah. out the window and, and drive and had the wind hit me. Right. Away, but, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, you yeah. do anything, like you said, as a father, you do anything for your kid because, like I said, you're their number one fan. And I know you're two, mm-hmm. both of your daughters are a really good basketball player. And then your son, uh, I have to ask you, though, they, they call him Batman. Is that is that his nickname? Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's actually the nickname me and my wife, you know, me and my wife gave him. I, oh, I gave him early, you know what I'm saying? I just been a, all, as a kid growing up, um, you know, I was a big fan of Batman. And uh, and then as, you know, going through college, uh, um, you know, just kind of getting back to my, you know, my black history and stuff like that. I was like, you know, how they always kind of put out uh, the, the superheroes just being, you know, white. So I was like, man, you know what? I got a mixed kid, you know, and what, <laughs> we can have a, uh, have a have a black Batman. So I just started calling him Black Man, and, man, and just, it just stuck with him, man. Now that's good, though, man. Like I said, man, I mean, I'm said I'm tickled for you and, you know, you and your wife. I get to see you guys, like I said, at the tournaments and all that, man. And I know you're a big, big supporter of the kids and all kids, man. And I just tell you, you're Oh, yeah, all kids. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah. All yeah, kids, man. I mean, like I said, like I said, man, I just I just want to see all these kids make it. I'm about to say I'm a big fan of mine. That's why people say, you know, hit me up all the time. It's like, man, you be posting a lot. I'm like, yeah, I do, man. But I, you know, I'm just a big fan of sports, but also just a big fan of Oklahoma kids, and you know, and that's why I tell my my son all the time. Because, like I said, man, that's just the way I was raised. No. You know, as an as an athlete, man, if you can't if you can't give another man props, you know, from doing something when you know it's real, then you know something wrong, man. Because that's I think that, uh, sports is the only way you can be real and honest with with something, and not really shouldn't have no shade. And that's the thing you got to teach your son, you know, I mean, you know, everybody wants to make it to the next level and you might not get a chance to make it to the next level. So you got to be prepared for life in the real world. Of, you know, mm-hmm. I'm going to make it and get a job and, and, and do those things. You know, I got a son that wrestles in college right now. So, uh, you know, I'm preparing him. Hey, you know, Russ is going to be over in a few years, but, you know, what you going yeah. to, what, what's your next step? You know what I mean? And so, right, and, right. And he knows that though, you know, I got him working for me in the summertime. So a uh, good hard worker, but I tell you what you, what you do with your family. I um, mean, I love it. What you say, you know, uh, a man and with your Cherokee wife. I love it, man, because, 
because you mean, you yeah, oh wife, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you put your wife on a pedestal, man, and a lot, of, a lot of us men, we don't do that, man. And, and you can see you put your wife first because, like I said, you guys created those three beautiful babies that you have, and and, and you put them out there, and and you should tweet, man. That's why I started this show, keep it one hundred. Some people yeah. like it because you know I keep it real, you know, and some people don't like to hear the truth; they want to hear all BS. But I'm gonna keep it real with you because uh, uh, think about this show. It's me, Jody, and Ethan show, so I can save the hell I want. And guess what? I ain't gonna get fired on Monday. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me. Uh, well, yeah, man. Well, uh, man, like I said, man. Um, that's just. I mean, I just think, like I say, definitely coming from Oklahoma, being an Oklahoma boy, Oklahoma kid, man. Um, I just don't think our kids get enough, get enough, you know, publicity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you know, and I just think that that, that, ha- that has to change. You know, because I'm glad Xavier Robinson, you know, signed with, uh, committed to Oklahoma. Cause that kid, you know, um, Carl Albert boys, you know, they, they play ball just like Jinx boys. And, and when the more Jinx, the more Oklahoma kids we get in, get over there to Norman, it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn around, I promise you, man. Oh, and so time, that's man. what I, 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 I was I, I was definitely excited to see that, man. And I just want to give a shout out to my boy J.D. out there, too, from, from Carl Albert, my fullback the whole time I was at OU. Oh, that's big yeah. time. No, he took over that Western Heights program. I know he got his work cut out. Yeah. If anybody can get it done, it be J.D. because, you know, he knows that winter's tradition playing at OU, playing at Carl Albert, you know, so he knows what mm-hmm. it takes to get there and playing a little bit in the NFL, so he knows what it takes to get there. His brother's done a good job over at Dell City being a basketball coach, man. Lenny Hatchett. Uh, has done a really, really good job with Dell City's basketball, man. It's taking that program up. And then you talking about, I always tell Lenny, he's one of the best dressed coaches in, in, in high school high school basketball, <laughs> you know. So yeah. it's good to see a brother like that is always clean, uh, run a great prof- you know, professional. Him and Robert Jones, I mean, uh, I know Robert Jones played at Oklahoma yeah, Robert, State. Yep. Yeah, you know, but he's done a good job. They both have done a really good job uh, over at Dell City. It's funny you talk about Kyle Albert, you know, we got the helmet on the table, so when you see the show, you'll see it because, you know, we got Coach Don coming on right after you, and we're going to talk about the okay. great success that he's had over at Carl Albert in his few years he's been there and playing at Carl Albert, you know. I mean, it's so funny. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I tell people all the time, I feel like high school football has become like a, a college transfer portal because kids are – I mean, and, and you can't be mad at them. I mean, I, I did the same thing right. at one point in time. You know, my son was a hell of a wrestler, so I took him from a school and took him to Chata to become a wrestler and, 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 and go play the top games, I mean, wrestle in the top matches. So that's what you got to do as a parent. I mean, don't think – Yeah, don't oh, think, yeah. Hey, don't think you're wrong because I got that baby girl. She's in sixth grade going to seven you don't think i'm gonna try to yeah. put a powerhouse together have call out the girls <laughs> yeah. hell yeah i'm right, going right. to I'm tell you i mean right i now. mean you got to man yeah. i mean because like i said man it, it, well you don't you don't do your kids no i mean it ain't the same you know because like i say the when they you know people want to say loyalty and this and that man all, you're as a parent you know we're loyal to our kids and if yes, you sir. don't give them all the options that that's out there i mean that you're doing this this loyalty to your kids yep. i mean because that's no different than what these colleges and what these, you know, other what these what they get hired to do, hey, you hey, know, it's like so, a full time job, brother. I mean, you don't think I gotta take? Yes, I gotta go. Put, yes. I gotta go put up numbers for my job. Guess what? If not, they're looking for the next person to replace me. So I understand <laughs> yep, yep. what's going on. So, I mean, what you're doing is good, man. I mean, I'm happy for you and your son. Uh, I know, like I said, you got to be tickled that you know he's got a, he got an offer from Oklahoma where you played at, and you know when you got the show out and, 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 and with the Sooner uh-huh. Nation. So uh, it's good things, you know. I know. Um, before I let you go, uh, is there any other kids that you know? We need to keep our eye out uh, out there in Tulsa that, you know, that, hey, this kid's going to surprise some people. Well, I definitely, man. Um, I mean, uh, not just saying this because, he, you know, he's also one of the kids that uh, basically moved over to Jinx. But uh, Owen Jones, the quarterback that was at Broken Arrow, I think with uh, mm-hmm. with the offensive coordinator we got at Jinx. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like I said, with the coaches at Jinx, I just want to give a shout-out to uh, really Jinx, you know, for accepting my, you know, my family, you know, for accepting us back and, you know, and, and the coaching staff are accepting my son and just those players. But uh, Owen Jones, um, uh, A.C. Christensen, and, you know, A.G. Gilliam, uh, Blake Bilby. You expect those names to, uh, to be big time in Jinx program this year. I got to ask. And uh, also, and one more guy I want to give a shout out to who I consider, who I think is one of the best quarterbacks in the state of Oklahoma. And that's uh, Jamari and Flicklin. Bird, bird, man, bird, 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 bird. We've yeah, had Bird him on man. the show, man. We you know had, what I'm saying? Yeah, we had Birdman on the show, man. Great father, man. He follows the show, uh, Dad, uh, as we get probably closer yeah, to Justin. the season. Yeah, yeah. Dad, Dad is Justin. Yeah, yeah, that's a good dude. That's one of my, my partners, man. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I just want to give a shout-out to Birdman because, like I say, wherever he lands, he's a, you know, he, his dad is from the south, you know what I'm saying? But he probably trying to get him to go somewhere at SEC, man. But I'm telling you, that kid can ball. That kid's a baller, man. Hey, man he's put on and, some uh, too. And we ain't. 
Yeah, yeah. And so um, he's a lefty. He reminds me, like I tell him, he reminds me of Randall Cunningham, man. That was one of my favorite favorite quarterbacks of all time, man. He could throw it. He could throw it a throw it a throw it a mile. And uh, when he get moving, he can move too, man. So like I said, I I, I told myself and this is kind of the one thing I want to put out there. I told my I haven't uh, I told my son this. I told him if you can lead Jinx to a state championship this year, and if Bird can lead Muskogee to a state championship this year, that's going to put KD probably at a four four to five star level. And that's going to get those looks for Bird that he needs to, you know, that he's getting disrespected. That I feel like, no, no, and I, I mean, that's what sucks, you know, and that's what sucks for the Oklahoma kids because it seems like they got to go win that state title for them to get them big looks like they man. already should be getting. Keyword, you preach it, man. You preach it, man. It's so funny that you said I had the same conversation yesterday eating lunch with with a, with a uh, couple friends of ours, man. I mean, I watched my son get hurt, come back in sophomore year, he breaks his wrist, come back and wrestle in the state finals, right? Uh, got uh-huh. beat in the finals, man. Didn't get one offer. Come back the next year, wins it two years in a row. Had everybody knocking on the door. It's so funny. Yeah, I look at yep. it. If a kid came back from being hurt, why he didn't get no offers in? Because it shows how tough he is. But he goes and wins that state championship. Everybody's calling. It's weird, man, that you gotta yep. get that respect. And the same thing I thought about it, Bird. It, it, I was well, like, why is yeah. Bird not getting any offers, man? I mean, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the state of Oklahoma, but ain't nobody really. I mean, I know he got some, but he ain't got the offers mm-hmm. that he should be getting. That I mean, the kid is bad. I mean, I'm telling you, the kid can play. Right. I've been watching him play Carl Iber last year and put on the show. I mean, he put on the show. Uh, it was, it yeah, was that was awesome. a game. It was a game. Uh, that game this year gonna be good. Hey, 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 man, I'm telling you, I'm uh, that's what I'm trying to make sure. Hopefully, uh, Jinx ain't, I hope that's our bye week. I can catch it. That's what, that's what man, his dad, bird dad was talking about. Man, I'm like, man, where y'all play? Cause yeah. that's gonna be a rumble. That's a rumble in the jungle right there, boy. But as we get going into the season, man, I have to have a little Batman on the show, man. Let him talk about it, man. Oh, yeah. Being an up-and-coming. Okay. Like I said, this is a sophomore, man. I mean, and like I said, you got to be tickled, man. Your boy rushed for 1,000 yards of, as a freshman. That's tough. I mean, I mean, <laughs> hey, hey yeah. man, that's tough, man. I mean, that, and like I said, playing in Bix, he ain't playing in no 2A. He ain't playing against no no cupcake. He playing against the best right. of the best. So, man. Well, hey, that's, that's – that's- yeah, I appreciate that, man. And you know, like I said, that, but that's shit. That's that's what we bred. That's what we bred to do, though. Ethan, you got anything before we let him go? Nah, I think I'm good. I uh, appreciate you. you coming on, though. Wait, hold on. He didn't know who you were, man. <laughs> Ethan's young, though. He's 21. I just, we had yeah. we had to educate him, <laughs> Key One. I said we had to educate him, Key One. We had to say, you don't know, yeah. Key, man. I said Key One is known for. Hey, go back and just look at his. Go back and look at his huddle back in the day when he takes that ball 80 yards on him. Who, who's y'all playing? Was y'all yes. playing Union? Who was y'all playing that yeah, game? We was, yeah, we was, play, yeah, we was playing Union. Hey, knocked him hey, hey, knocked them out. They thought they had something. Well, they went, oh, they got sick. It, cold? it was cold that game. <laughs> oh, Kiwa said, hey, it ain't over yet. They put him out. He went from tail back to slot and said, yeah. see ya. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> hey, and that's what, hey, it's funny you say that. That's what, you know, and that's what I told my son. That's kind of what he's kind of done this year, too, is you'll see a little bit of that, him going to uh, – you know, playing a little bit of receiver, you know, do a little bit of everything. Hey, that's hey. why I say that's that's the type of player we got to be if we want to get the type of clues that we want. Yes, sir. Want to be? It. That's it. That's it. But man, good luck to you and your baby girls, man. I'm pretty sure I'll see you in the next couple of weeks somewhere at a basketball tournament, man. Uh, and like I said, we'll just keep doing our thing, man. You keep doing the thing up in Tulsa, uh, you know. Uh, I mean, Tulsa got it going on, man. I know 405 is trying to do their thing, but Tulsa still owns the, the market out there in high school football. But I tell people all the time, Oklahoma high school football is, is getting – it ain't where Texas is at, but it's getting there, though. Because when you start getting yeah. kids oh, moving yeah. from Texas to come to Oklahoma and play football, that's telling you something. It's putting Oklahoma on the map. So, yeah. uh, like I said, congratulations. Yeah, yep. yep. Congratulations you and your family, man. Tell your, tell your son good luck this season, and me and you will catch up, okay? Okay, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me on, man. Uh, no, no problem, man. Thank you, Kiwan. Uh, uh, all right, take it easy. Thank you. Folks, Kiwan Jones, like I said, outstanding OU football player, Jinx, player back in his day. Now his son is doing his thing over at Jinx. He leaves B.A. I know B.A. sick. I know they probably got yeah. tissue. I know they're probably upset. But guess what? You got to do what's best for your kid. Didn't that Absolutely. quarterback leave too? He, he left too. He went over there with him. But, hey, that quarterback together? that we saw, that's not the same they ain't the same quarterback. So they got two quarterbacks? They got two quarterbacks. That's the way you do it so these days, man. Turn the tight end Somebody in. needs. I don't know what they're gonna do. You might go to defensive end. I mean, man, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't speak on that. <laughs> I can't speak on that. But Jonah, what's going on, man? I know we missed you at the beginning of the show, but uh, how long were you alone, man? Huh? How how much did I miss? Man, you just missed the introduction. You just missed the intro. Intro. Oh, okay. We that. just we just we just uh you know. I was at uh, home eating me a burger. Burger? Did you cook some burgers? No, wife picked one. Picked up some Johnny's. Johnny's. 
Johnny. Ooh. Johnny's good. Johnny's good. Well, our next guest is going to be Mike Dunn, the outstanding coach over at Carl Albert, you know, looking to win his next gold ball. Uh, he's doing big things, man, I mean, over at Carl Albert, man. They got kids signing left and right, man. Um, it's going to be really interesting bringing him on the show and talk a little high school football as he get ready to crank off his, what, third season with uh, Carl Albert. So, uh, I mean, he's he, he's done. He, he He's already got that thing off his back. He's already got him a gold ball in, in, in the trophy case. Uh, he fits right with the other coaches that's been there. So, uh, he's doing his thing. We'll be right back after what? After one of our sponsors. Keep it at 100 Oklahoma High School Sports. Keep it 100 Oklahoma High School Sports on this Sunday, Sunday afternoon. We just had key one. Well, now we got the outstanding coach at Carl Albert High School, Mr. Mike Dunn. What's up, coach? How are you guys doing? We're doing good. How you doing? I got Jonah and I got Ethan sitting here, man. We're going to talk a little high school football. We just got off the phone with Kewan Jones. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good to talk to an old guy that played at OU. Now his son was at BA. Now he's over at uh, Jinx. And, uh, you know, he just kind of said, hey, I had to make that move to be the best for my family. And then that's the thing about it, man, with the with high school football. And you know as a high school coach, man, you know, it's not like you guys go out and recruit that, you know, uh, a comment that you had made a few weeks back. It's like, hey, man, the kid ain't transfer. A kid moves, you know I mean? You can't right. parent, – parents can't get – people can't get upset. And the thing about Carl Albert, they move. They don't say they move. Right. They move, you know. And, and that's the thing about it. You know – Wait, wait, wait. Uh, time out. You say they don't have empty lots? I, I'm saying they, they don't, don't have, have empty lots. They, they, because I know like Andy with a fake address. A fake address. So it's a real house. They got real houses, and they actually live in the house. They live in that house. You oh. know why? Because Andy, you know, anybody that know Andy <laughs> Carrier, we all know Andy Carrier. Andy gonna do everything by the book because he's so damn paranoid. You know, man, it's a good thing. <laughs> he, because, hey, yeah, he's gonna make them drive by. He's gonna make that's it. <laughs> you better do it. He's gonna make sure you, you move. Hey, Richie, 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 Richie the Quasar will tell you he had to move. So that's what it's all Absolutely. about. But, but Coach Dunn, man, I just want to bring you on, man. We're about a, about a, what month and so out of football i know this is dead week so i know you get to relax with the family hang out with the kids uh i just want to kind of bring you on and just kind of talk about you know the up and coming season man and what you guys are doing but before i get going though i have to say something though i have to call carl albert um uh, the the what you call it the uh double a league or the uh far, the farm far, league farm league for ou football because it seems like every <laughs> one of your players is going to ou so the, the, uh, the minor leagues the minor <laughs> league so that's good coach man i, I so i'm just took of what you have done with the program the, the three going into your third year man you got a state championship already uh you know you got a lot of great coaches on the staff and and i know you get the guys you get those guys a lot of credit you know having corley still on there johnson um you yep. know and and some of the guys has been with you for a while uh your defensive coordinator got a chance to meet him i think his uh his son and my brother's son they play uh t-ball together so a great yep. guy um and, and him you know so what you guys are doing at Carl albert is just amazing man you know even kiwan just mentioned that you know what you guys are doing over there he's like man you know uh, you know, Carl Albert is, is, is like a big bit jeans, you know, on this side of the state, right. uh, what you're yeah. doing over there, man. I know uh, you're going to get a lot of success to the guys that's been there before you, but you have picked up the pieces and, and done some other big things to it, not taking nothing from those guys, but, you know, what you do with the social media and getting kids out. And, and, and I mean, some of these kids that, you know, um, is getting recruited are, are big-time kids, and they, and they started as, you know, freshmen and sophomores. Now they're going into their junior, senior year, and they're starting to get the big-time look. So um, what, what, what do you feel about this season coming? coming up well i feel like our kids have definitely put themselves in a in a place to to have a, a successful year we've had a really good off season kids went to work you know right we get done and and we take about a week off and then you know that week right before uh the christmas break we max out and then we hit the ground running when we get back and uh they've attacked off season spring ball was really good team camp was great um uh, and then this summer, so far, you know, we did our first half. Coach Cam runs our summer program along with eight or nine other coaches, and, and they put the work in these first four weeks. And, you know, thing about our kids, it's funny, you know, you go out there and you can't really – you can tell just by body types, obviously, that some of those guys look different, you know, those ones that are that are getting some of those – those looks by some of the bigger colleges, but you wouldn't be able to tell by work ethic who is who because they all look the same. Everybody's grinding. Everybody's there. 
you know, our, our guys will go to a camp like Tristan Haynes. This is, I think, what separates some of our kids. Tristan Haynes is a corner that's 2025 kid that's got, you know, everybody's got Alabama. Um, and, and Tristan's the type of kid that he had a camp at Oklahoma State. Camp started at noon on a Wednesday. Well, he went to workouts Monday, Tuesday. He didn't hold back. He didn't even tell anybody he was going to the camp. And then Wednesday morning, he goes to workouts from 7 to 9, goes home, cleans up, gets on the road goes out goes out to Stillwater and, and runs the fastest 40 time that day he ran like a 443 him and the kid from uh Shakota the big time wide receiver from Shakota both ran a 443 at that camp and so you know that's that's kind of a, a story that I could tell about about all those guys all these guys are putting the work in you know Xavier just committed to Oklahoma and and you, you know obviously you could look at him and tell he's different but Xavier's there every day Xavier's leading by example example Xavier's putting the same work in as everybody else. It's it's a lot easier when you can get those guys when they'll do it when they do all those things. You you don't have to you don't have to push them any harder. They go there and they're self motivated and they know what it takes to win and and everybody else kind of falls in line. So it's I feel like we put the work in and, and we got a chance to go out and and be successful. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah, oh, so, go ahead. You're good. Uh, you know, Coach, you know, you, you talk about your kids, you know, you know, you got some of the big names on your board, you know, Xavier Robertson, Marcus James, Tristan Haynes, and Tayshawn Washington. Uh, all these guys are getting big-time offers, you know, and you had another kid that just came in uh, to your program. But, you know, let's talk about this Marcus James kid. It's funny because, um, you know, he, he's a big-time. He's just going gonna to be, what, a uh, sophomore or junior? He'll be a junior. Uh, you know, you look at this young man, you know, and he was at Bishop, and, and, and now he's over at Carl Albert. Uh, you know, I think sometimes, we did, you know, and I know he kind of fell in your lap. It's not like you went out and got him, not like none of your coaches wouldn't recruited him. Um, sometimes, you know, the, it goes like this. If you can't beat him, you do what? Join him. You join him. <laughs> and, and, and I think that kid has said, hey, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, you look at this young man. He comes over to you guys, and it's funny you know, Coach Dunn, that this young man, you know, he's at Bishop, and Bishop's a good school, you know, a good a academic school. Absolutely. They said they sent some kids, you know, to Division One. But you look at this young man, he gets on y'all's campus, and he's been there two or three weeks, and boom, boom, he gets some offers. What do you think that is, Coach? Because he was at Bishop, and then Bishop is not even 30 minutes away, and, and, and he didn't get those same offers. What do you think it is, Coach Dunn? Is it something right. that you guys got in the water over there? Because if it is, I'm keeping Zoe at Carl Albert. <laughs> well if that's what it takes then yes that's what it is yeah. no, that, it, it, you know I, I really do think that over there that he, that would have came for him regardless it doesn't matter he's one of them type of kids that he could be like one of these big time dudes at Shakota, oklahoma they, they would find marcus and they would have found him over at bishop mcginnis i mean you know that 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 coaching staff in mcginnis i got nothing but respect for those guys brian pierce and Ryan Stringer's our offensive coordinator, and we've had all kinds of battles going back to the Dell City days with those guys. And and man, they they do an outstanding job. And and Marcus, um, he, he's he's just a big time big time athlete. Uh, he's he's six foot four. He's got all kinds of length. The dude is his arms. I mean, just wingspan. And, and he he's got all kinds of ceiling too because he still could he could gain another. He's probably about two fifteen, maybe two twenty right now, and he could gain another. 30 40 pounds and still look just incredible i mean he's very lean and so he he's his ceiling is incredibly high um and he's you know a lot of teams are recruiting him as a linebacker but i think tcu offered him as a as a tight end i mean he's he's pretty special on that side of the ball as well um but i think he's i think he's primed to have a to have a big year he's another guy it's it's funny because you know people people have moved into carl out before and you know it, it for whatever reason when they come in, they fit the culture, you know, and, and it's, it's a deal where the, I think that's when, when, when the way it is these days with, with kids moving around and things, the school that they go to, you better have a, ver, a, ver, a really good culture and you better have a standard. You better have an expectation or that could crumble down real fast in front of you, you know, and it, at, at Carl Albert, it's funny. We, we always say it's probably the one place in the world where the stars behind somebody's names really doesn't matter I mean, it, what, what it's going to come down to is who's going to be the best for the team and who's going to put the work in and I think that's that's a testament to a coaching staff that's been around for a long time and, and guys that set that standard a long time ago before me so um, now but Marcus he's he's going to be special 
So, you know, Coach Dunn, you know, you talked about, you know, kids moving in, and, and that's really cool because it just tells you what your program is doing. Uh, I know you, a very professional man, and, you know, like I said, Andy Collier, uh, I know he takes everything serious, him being, you know, the the head of all high, uh, all the high school teams, Memphis yep. City, Carl Auburn, and Dell City. Uh, when you do get that phone call, I mean, what's it like? I mean, I know sometimes you might not even know a kid's coming. He might just show up on your doorstep. Right. But, you know, I mean, what's it like, though? I mean, do you do you sit down with the coaches and say, hey, man, is this kid going to fit us? Because sometimes you don't want to take every apple because there's always some bad seeds out there that can make the tree – crumble but, right uh so i mean what's it like you know before you decide hey i'm gonna take this kid you talk to the parents you talk to the kid i mean i mean what's it kind of like because some schools just take anybody sure sure but now so like like with marcus for instance so I, i'm sitting in my office one day and i get a phone call and it and it's 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 marcus's dad and marcus's dad just says hey coach this is who I am. This is who my son is. We're, we're moving into the area. We're actually driving around right now trying to find somewhere to live. Um, we're, we're, is there any way that we can meet and talk? And so they can come in and they can come in and, and talk to us. And so they come in and I let them know about the program and let them know how, how we manage things and how we operate. I, I mean, I'm, I'm the type that I'm going to give them every piece of information just to make sure that there's nothing there that's a surprise, you know, and I'm going to tell them exactly how eligibility works. You know, I think that's where some people get in trouble and that's where some people mess this thing up is, you know, just because somebody contacts and just because somebody says that they're going to move in, some people don't follow up with that and you better follow up. And so I'm the type that I would rather the family have all the information and know exactly that what you have to do in order to be eligible. I mean, in Oklahoma, there's open transfer now. And I think people mess that up all the time thinking, well, the state of Oklahoma says you can transfer. So you can just transfer. You can be eligible, but that's not the case. You've got to actually make a bona fide move. You've got to move out of your old residence. You have, and, and on our part, me and Andy Collier, we've got to do a good job of making sure that people actually move and, and go take pictures and do the whole thing. And, you know, we, we've got a track record of doing that. And we try to keep the OSSAA, as involved as possible with all of that as well. You know, we tell the parents, say, we're going to, we're going to contact the OSSAA. We're going to make sure everything is on the up and up. And so that's kind of how that went down with, with Marcus. That's how anytime, if there's a kid that's moving in that, that a family actually contacts us first and says, Hey, we're moving in. This is what we're trying to do. We always are going to give them the information first. And I think that's what you have to do in order to make sure everybody's on the up and up. That's big time. Chris. Uh, <clears throat> you know, obviously, uh, you know, you guys were kind of made national headlines a few weeks ago with, uh, you know, Kevin Sperry uh, yeah. announcing that he was going to uh, transfer to Carl Lobert. Um, You know, kind of talk about how that kind of went down and kind of, uh, you know, what kind of kid Kevin is. Right. So, so far, Kevin's been around for, for two weeks. Um, he's he's probably what you've read about before if you if you follow any of that stuff. He's an unbelievable young man, first and foremost. I mean, that's that makes things like that a lot easier when a kid just puts his head down and goes to work. He's not flashy. He's not a kid that's going to talk about himself or, or, you know, make it about him. Not at all. Um, he just has been so far in these two weeks. He's just been like everybody else. I mean, he's, he's worked his tail off. Um, we've tried to put him in some leadership roles and workout stuff just to see how he reacts around some of the other guys. And, you know, when we, we've got a pretty, pretty solid team and we've got a lot of guys that are, are capable of leading and so we want to create more more leaders and it's been good watching him just how he's fit in with everybody um he's and and he's as advertised he's going to be a really he's going to be a really really good good player um he's he's got all the tools but you know first and foremost a kid coming in has got to fit in you know and him and his family they have they have just went head first and um they they're very supportive they were at xavier signing the other day and um, just really, really good people. Well, you know, Coach, you know, you talked about that, you know, a little bit. But uh, one thing about it, man, is anybody that knows about uh, injuries and kids can get hurt, you you got to be prepared, ready to go, no matter who's the right. quarterback. If it's first team, first quarterback, QB1, QB2, QB3, everybody got to be ready to go because you, you know going into last year, you know, Reed – DeQuazy was a starting quarterback. Guess what? First game, Kawita, he goes down. Guess what? Cash comes in. You know, one thing I got to say, Cash, I mean, and, and you both know he's a leader. He's a, he's a hell of a baseball player. Yep. Uh, he's a hell of a leader. So, you know, and, and, and you know, we're not going to get into this, but one thing about it, though, everybody got to be ready. It may, who are, 
I mean, even Xavier's backup got to be ready because you never know what a, a season is long. Ten games is long, and, and taking a hit, and and and, and you never know what's going to happen. So everybody For just sure. got to sit back and relax and, and and let the cookies crumble because, um, you know, granted, you got three. To me, I mean, I, I coach one of your younger quarterbacks, uh, yeah, and and, and 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 Collier, you know, and I, I know he's an up and coming freshman, and, and and I tell you, some of those young kids, I got to get hero. a chance to, who a hero, a hero, yeah, the, uh, hero. I mean, you know, I'm a big fan of hero, I'm a big fan of uh, uh, Elijah, uh, you know, uh, Bo. I mean, like I said, but what you got over there, uh, Coach Don, man, you got to be tickled, man. I mean, you 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 got some great kids, but it also comes, like you said, it comes from the family. Is being dedicated right. and being part of it, though, man. A kid can have a big name, but you still got to go out there and perform. So I think you guys are going to do a great job. You and Coach Johnson and the rest of the staff is going to do a great job of putting everybody in the right position. Uh, you got to be ready all 10 games. And then if you're going to both play in the state championship, it's 14 games. So uh, yep. I think what you're doing over there is amazing. But I, I got to give a big shout out. And I, I know she don't get a lot of credit. I mean, she do get a lot of credit, but she don't get talked about a lot. You, you got to talk about your principal and, and Miss Goggins, man. I mean, I yeah, think she's absolutely. one of the best best in the business of, of what you guys have over at Carl Albert, man. I mean, every school got some, some, some turds in it, but I think you guys do a great job keeping kids – you know, not in trouble, not getting in trouble. Academics is good, you know. Not only are you winning on the field, but you're winning in the classroom, and that's what people don't realize, man. You know, Carl Albert has put himself on the map. You go, you guys can go play anybody in the state. Uh, I would love to see you guys play a Bigsby. I'd love to see you guys play a Jinx. Um, love you go see a play a top team out of, out of Texas or, or even yeah. damn California, Florida, because I think what you're doing year in, year out, man, I mean, yeah, you're going to lose Xavier, but guess what? Boom, somebody else is going to step up. Hey, you might lose this kid. Somebody else is going to step up. Um, yeah. You know, watching some of those freshman kid that's going to be freshman this year they're like in hero i think anderson carrier when his name gets called at the qb he's going to do a good job uh i just think what you got over there is amazing man and i know people are trying to catch up some people got to do things the wrong way and just have kids move in and don't move but you got to do it the right way like you what you're doing over there yeah and, and you know really to go back to, to your first point there um, you know, we've got a quarterback at, on campus in Cash Ferris, and last year, that's the first thing we that we sat down and talked to Cash about was last year, I don't think we get done what we got done without Cash being ready to roll, you know. And, and that's the thing about Carl Albert. it's all There's always going to be competition for, for spots, and, and, you know, Cash is going to be ready to roll. He's he's a big-time guy. Kevin Sperry's a big-time guy. Cash's future is set. He, he's, got, he's got his thing going with Oklahoma State. And, you know, I, th- I think what it's going to do, it's going to force both those guys right off the bat you know now they both have to go compete like they're in college already because when cash steps foot in, on stillwater's campus he's going to be one of 12 in a pitching staff that That's he's going to have to go compete with and then same thing with with kevin he's going to be there with jackson arnold and the hawkins kid and you know, there's going to be there's going to be one that comes behind him, and and so I think that that's really truly one of those iron sharpens iron type of situations. So it's going to be exciting to see, and, and you got to have two guys, and so you know, and then and then Kristen Goggins, man, there's there's not there's not a better one out there. I mean, as far as what she does and what she means to Carl Albert, I've never seen somebody as passionate about their job and as passionate about the kids that they serve every day. You know, and she'll be the first one to tell you that. Carl Albert, it's not perfect, but what it is, it's a slice of the real world. I mean, we've got we've got people there that that come from, you know, ev- got everything. People that have the most money in Oklahoma to, <laughs> to people that, that live right around the corner, and, and we've got a trailer park right there by the by the school, and and she treats everybody the same, you know. And we've got all walks of life, we've got all races, we got all different demographics and socioeconomics. It's just, it's a really good place, and it seems like people all of our kids seem to pull in the same direction. You know, we don't have fights at our school. We don't have those, those big kind of problems, you know, knock on wood, but our, our principals do a really good job of setting that standard. And then they follow up, you know, our kids know at Carl Albert, you have to toe a line. And when they go to athletics, the, the tone that's in athletics, is the same tone that's in the building and, and everybody pulls the same direction. And, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to hate Carl Albert because there's been a lot of success, but, but there's been a whole lot of work that's been put into it, and there's been a lot of people that have upheld, upheld those those standards for a long time, and Kristen Goggins is is the best at it. 
Well, coach, like I said, man, you know what you're doing over there, man. You know, you're, you're, you're. I mean, as an AD, you gotta be, you gotta be tickled. You win a state championship in in, in wrestling. I mean, first time in, in many, many years with Coach Hodges, a great yeah, coach, and, and Kevin Miller. Uh, then you go win another one in uh, in, in baseball. Then you win one in football. Uh, you know what you're doing in all sports, man. And I mean, I tell you right now, I know Coach Price got to be excited. You know. Um, you know, getting Marcus James to come over, a great basketball yeah. player too. Um, uh, you know, Del C losing some guys, but I think Carl Albert be right there in the driver's seat to win a men's basketball. And I know, I know we want to win a women's basketball. I know Coach Richie yeah. got, you know, uh, I know he got some girls that's coming back and they should be loaded again. But uh, you know, I I'll just tell you right now, as the AD and this guy that's running Carl Albert, man, you got to be tickled what you got going because a lot of programs you could talk about Bigsby. Football, but you know, I mean, what, what happened to Bigsby? You know, and I'm not knocking Bigsby because me and Coach Cole are really cool. I had him on the show a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. But when you talk about a program that has all, all, all everything firing at the same time, you gotta, you it, it has to start with Carl Albert. You could talk about all the other schools, Tuttle, but you gotta start with Carl Albert because they're winning in everything, man. I mean, um, I mean, I, I really think the girls will win a state championship in the next five to six years. You know, yep. uh, I'm, I'm hope I'm part of that. Say. What I'm trying yeah. to say. What yep. I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> We're gonna leave it at that. But I coach, but Coach Don, Don, like I said, you got to be tickled though, man. Your baseball team goes out who, and win it. Who, who, what does their schedule look like this year? Oh, they start off with Quita at oh, home. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. Same, yeah. same schedule, just just uh, flip the home and away. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you're looking at your, if you, you know, you at home. Yeah, Queen will be at home. I might watch that. Have but they lost game. a lot of people. Though, didn't Come they? on. Hey, we, hey, be hey, careful. Hey, Come hey. On. It don't matter what you lose. Everybody reloads, man. You know, every year you got to reload. Nah, I mean. That's Queen. Uh, that little town. Hey, ain't nobody going to Queen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I've, I've, actually, I've heard they've got a few guys that came in. Someone said, I read something that said that uh, the quarterback that was the played for Gore last year, he, which he was a junior last year, they played in the state championship. I heard he went there. I don't know. I haven't talked to Coach Harper, but I've heard they've had a couple kids move in, but they'll, they'll be good. They've got yeah, – Ain't nobody tackling the extra. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't nobody trying to – Hey, I ain't trying to – I'm a grown man, and I ain't trying to get in front of the extra. You know, you know, the thing, you know, Coach, you got to look at your players, though, man. They're all humble, though, man. You know, X, you know, yeah, he was sure. he, you know, he was out there doing the 707 as one of the little refs, but, you know, they're all humble, though. But, I mean, let's talk about a couple kids like, like K. Davis, man. It's, it's going to yeah. – you know, a young man that – I mean, he's not – he might not be right there with these other guys, but – He's he's getting offers. He's he's going to camps. Uh, name some guys that's it's going to be up and coming that you know that people might not know about right now. Yeah. So yeah, I mean we'll start with Caden and Caden went to Southern Illinois uh, for their camp last week. Uh, and and we we've kind of talked. He knows that his recruiting is probably going to come a little bit later. But last year as a sophomore, he definitely put himself on the map. He had 21 sacks. I want to say in the playoffs, he had about nine or 10 sacks. Um, just had a had kind of a breakout year and, and last year we moved our, we, we changed defenses right after the first game to something that fit us a little bit better and then we kind of went to a multiple four three three four look and so for Caden he's usually in a four four man front he's our he's our weak side defensive end like our true rush in and then we'll we'll bounce back to a three four and a lot of people will just drop that that viper defensive end that boundary defensive end they'll drop them into the boundary as an outside backer but we leave our will linebacker as an outside linebacker we're going to move him to an inside backer which is probably what he's going to play at the next level so so you're saying he wasn't going to the flats he was kind of like no, no no he he was more of a true inside like we would play, he would go he'd play hook he'd be a hook curl uh, guy okay. or, or we would we would kind of add him to the blitz and and get from a three-man front we would still get to a four-man four man front just by adding him to adding some stuff. To gotcha. um, so there's that there's that uh blue angel going over right now. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Hey state of Oklahoma, that's great. <laughs> there it is. Uh, uh but no but Caden uh Easton Arliss is another guy that, you know, silently he's gonna be a three year starter. Um he had over hundred tackles last year and as a sophomore uh he had close to a hundred tackles and so he's a guy that'll be up there in our record books with with tackles as long as he has a healthy senior year but he's a uh, he's a kid that his recruiting is starting to come up a little bit he's got a lot of division two stuff going on in oklahoma and he's he's been to oklahoma state for a camp um it's kind of gone all over the place but um and then some some other young guys um brock johnson you know our, our entire offensive line four of the five are coming oh my back God, the line is loaded <laughs> oh man you know tanner norman tanner could be 
he could go play college football if he wanted to. I think his ceiling is a little bit higher on the baseball side just because he's a little undersized as a as an offensive lineman. But he's he plays at an extremely high level. He's just as good at football as he is in baseball. Um, you know, Brock Johnson's our other tackle slash defensive end. going to be a three-year starter. Easton Collier is going to be a three-year starter. Um, Trayton Holland started some games as a sophomore, but started every game last year as a as a center for us. Um, he's going to be back for his senior year. So, you know, we, we've got a lot of guys that are – and then we got some young guys in, in our secondary that I think <laughs> can't be to be big time. Uh, Xavier Robinson's little brother, Todd James, um, a kid named Byron Stubbs who, who um, is playing for us, is going to be a really good DB. Um, we're, we, we're pretty set back there. And then, uh, you know, linebacker Cooper Brackage is a kid we're really excited about. Um, young guy, going to be a junior. So – we uh and, and we, we got a kid named Noah Darnell. Noah moved yep. in from Bartlesville. Um, yeah, yes, back I heard him. like Feb- January or February. Noah's a true speed guy. He's he ran a forty nine flat in the quarter this year in track and was on our relays. And so uh, we we've got some guys that we're really excited about coming up for sure. And then you talked about some of those freshmen, those freshmen that 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 freshman class is going to be going to be really special. Anderson Collier is a really good player. Delijah Matthews, I think, is going to be big time. Um, they, here's the thing, and I, a lot of coaches would be – they'd be worried about saying it, but I've watched these kids work, and I've seen what they do and all the extra they put in. And, and that group, Jackson Webster is going to be special. Bo Davis, um, I mean, that I could talk forever about that class as well. So I'm, I'm excited about the future for do sure. Do you see Jackson as a linebacker or, or like a, a – or safety. Free, like yeah, we we safety. we uh we moved him um, already to an outside backer. We were having a little bit of trouble there, and he's just so aggressive down right. there in the mix. But but he could definitely be a weak safety in our in our in our scheme. He could probably be a strong safety in our scheme. We use our, yeah, we, we use it more like a dick. Yeah, I would free yeah, Kind of a kind of a cover. He, he do do a little bit of both cover yeah. and be a guy that that gets down there in the mix versus the run game. I mean, and Jackson. We'll see what he turns into, but Jackson could be a lot of different things because he's right. he to, plays the game the right way. I had to tell him, hey, this is flag. This is seven on seven. Yeah, he man. tried to he tried to lay people out, out. Oh hit God. seven on seven. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's him right there. And I, he he played a little bit of corner for you guys. Didn't yeah, yeah, he, he played yeah, some yeah. corner, man. And I, I yeah. tell you, I tell you what I like about him, man. He's a talker, man, and he'll let you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna shut you down, man. And 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 yeah, you know, uh, and that's like I said, you got a young man in Joseph. I think he just uh, seventh grade gonna be an eighth grader, and he oh, kind of played with oh, us. Yeah. And 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 Joseph, when we played the the younger team. Joseph was kind of going off, and Jackson said, "Let me get him." And Joseph didn't catch another ball that 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 the rest of that game. So I, I love that passion, those guys, though, man. You know, getting a chance to work yeah. with those guys. But I just tell you, man, you got kids up and coming. I mean, that seventh grade team. I mean, that I think they end up uh, uh, getting beat in the finals. But I mean, it just shows you what you got coming up, man. And that's what makes right. a great tradition. Uh, you guys are really just starting to take off with the uh, with y'all's own football program, the NFC. What is it, NFC? I don't know what it is, but. Uh, Oh, they got their own program now, you know. Football, they got Pee Wee football uh, yeah. out there now. So I think that's going to be really good because I know a lot of these kids kind of fed into the chop top, but now they're doing their own thing. But i just tell you what you guys are doing, you know, you and Andy, what you guys have done. And I, and I said this a few years back. I said, you know, when Carl Albert hired you and then in, and in Dell City hired, hired Robert, uh, yep. man, you, you couldn't get any better. You, you killed, you know, why they say you uh, to kill, kill two, two birds, birds with one stone? Yeah, I mean, no you, I mean, you both got, I mean, they both are doing, I mean, look at it, man. You're number one. He's number two. Um, yep. I mean, hope, I mean, I, I know you guys are like best friends. You live together and, and done a lot of good things together. And I know you guys still yeah. pick each other's brain. But it's good to see what you guys are doing. Not take nothing from Memphis City because Memphis City can surprise some people too. But right now, Del City oh, yeah. and Carl Albert just got it rolling, man. And, 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 and that's what happens. People want to come to, to big time programs and, and you guys do it right and that's the thing about Andy you know he don't get enough credit and you know I know we give Andy a hard time but Andy's on top of it man he's on top about yeah. who's moving in who's not moving in and and, and I mean Richie the crazy to tell you man he had to move but he had to do the right thing and keep on said the same thing I mean I had to do yep. what's best for my kid and 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 sometimes you have to do that and parents you know you got to do it the right way man and I don't care what what school a kid goes to as long as you do it the right way and I say that to um to on purple um, but in my face, but I'm You're just saying, almost there. I'm almost there. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm just saying, man, I just love what you guys do, man. I mean, it's all about doing the right thing, man. It, it just don't, don't promise these kids. And like you said, you sit down and talk to the parents before they come over there. The kid ain't guaranteed a position. Then when the kid gets there, now he's stuck because he ain't got a position. Like, so I'm uh, going to say one. Oh, go ahead, my friend. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead oh, go I was going to say that back in the day when I was in school, call would have a lot of championships. 
but they wouldn't go have him when to go D one. Like only person I can think yeah. of is Porter. Yeah. Porter yep. and then uh the tailback, what's his name? Hunt. Yep. And there's probably yep. like another one. Other than now I, I see kids going D one. I don't know if that's you or the coaches before, but what changed was it Coach? What was his coach before that? Coach Rose and Coach, coach Rose. Uh, coach Rose didn't send anybody to me. That's my opinion outside in. It's like y'all had like thirty thousand championships, but, but no D one players. But y'all did have D one players, but he just didn't send anybody. Anymore. I just think I just think really a lot of it is because think coach. I mean, I, I don't. I think Coach Rose is a great coach. I mean, but I'm not coach, saying he's not a great coach. I'm I just think that what Coach Don has done. Sometimes you got to get hip to. To what's going on, the social media, and now you get recruited by the social media. I mean, people look at it; they might, they might like. That's what I'm saying. You think it's the coaches or the social media, or a little bit of both? I think it's. A little well, bit. I think it. I think you got to have a, a big time plan as far as that goes too. Like you got to be really deliberate and intentional about how you go about it. You know, the mm-hmm. first thing that that I did when I came to Carl Albert is I did this at Dell City, but I, I did a lot of it on my own. Um, but when I came to Carl Albert. You know, we talked. You talked earlier about the athletic director side of things. I knew that was going to be just a little bit more busy, and so I, Bo Bradshaw, one of our coaches, who's now he just got the defensive coordinator job, and so we're going to really miss him. But he, uh, I, I hired him to be the recruiting coordinator for okay. us, and he and I, he and I attacked that thing, and really, you know, we we've got a process that I think is pretty good. We send out, we've got a database of probably oh, 200, almost three hundred coaches. That's all the way from Division One to NAIA, and we send out stuff weekly during the season. We'll send out we'll send out updates from our game. We'll send out updated highlights, and then in the off season we just try to pound that as much as we can. And and you know I've I've tried to keep up with with connections. I try to keep up with where people go, and it adds a lot of time to your plate. But obviously it's a it's a good thing right. for your kids. It's a good thing to promote your programs, and we we want all of our we want all of our sports to be like that. And and I think. I think there's been a lot of sports at even at our school that have started to say, you know, that's that's a good way of doing things, and you're mm-hmm. seeing you're seeing more of that. It's starting to catch on, and so, you know, I think it's just it the, it is a changing of the times as far as you 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 know social media. It's a necessary, you know, and and you really got to teach kids how to use it. And it can be a really good tool if kids are using it right, if coaches are using it right, and programs. And so I think it's been that's been that's been part of it. Um, I think it's just been a little bit more being a little more intentional with it. And one thing too, Coach uh, Coach uh, Dunn, you you have a great relationship with a lot of college coaches. You know, one thing you played in Texas, so you got a chance to uh, you coach in Texas, so you got a chance to get a, a lot of good relationships, and so yeah. that does help a lot when you know people. I mean, I, I have to give you credit. You know, when my two boys were in school, uh, you were at Dell City, they were at Chata, and you were telling people about them you know, and helping them get recruited. Not only are you helping kids at your school, but you're helping kids right. at other schools. So yeah. that goes a long way, man. And, and people respect that, you know, 100%. You know, so um, I give you kudos for that because it's not like you just get your kids recruited, but you're trying to get other kids recruited. Like, hey, man, there's a kid down the street that can go a little bit. You might need to go take a look at him. You're not just doing it for Dell City at the time or Carl Albert. You're doing it for other kids. So that kind of puts you on the right. pedestal. But that also comes from your family background, though. You know, I right. mean, your mom and dad, uh, you know, I mean, just what, what they were in administration at, 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 in the mid-Dell, uh, you know, I mean, being at all your games now, man. I mean, I mean, me and your dad sat, at, at, sat by each other at the, at the at the girls' state championships, you know, tournament, yeah. you know, sitting there just, you know, catching. Catching up, you know, I mean, just to, you know, I'm a big fan of him because he kind of got me on the map at Dell at Dell Crest when I was at Dell Crest as a custodian. Okay. You know, he got me coaching and helping, you know, with 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 that program. So, uh, you know, I said I have a lot of respect for the Don family because not, not I wouldn't be where I'm at now, but, you know, w- without them helping me get to where I'm at. So I give you yeah. I give you props for that. And and you know, and, and little league baseball, you know, uh, you know, yeah. I be, you know, I beat y'all's team a couple times. <laughs> I had to throw that in there, coach. That, that, y'all beat us one. <laughs> y'all beat us one. <laughs> I remember it. Not a couple, huh? I had, I, had, I had to throw it in there, but coach, hey, back in the day, coach, hey, coach D, hey, coach D, hey, the Del C Dodgers was tough though. They were tough though. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I still probably got that ball somewhere ahead, man. I mean, it was just a big time. But like I said, man, I really appreciate you coming on, man. Especially on the Fourth of July weekend, uh, you know, getting to talk high school football before we get the season kicked off, man. I know you're excited about this up and coming season. Uh, what you got coming, man? And like I said, I mean, I know you're a man that puts a lot of hours in. Like you said, you mean giving up your Sunday afternoon, you're watching the Blue Angels, and you're on the phone with us talking high school sports. Biggie, you got anything before we let him go? No, I just want to, you know, thank you for coming on. Uh, you Absolutely, know, you always do. Uh, you know, anytime we call you up, it's like no hesitation. So we appreciate that. 
And, uh, you know, just good luck to you and your guys uh, this upcoming season. You know, uh, me and Tony, I'm sure, will be out to catch at least one game, uh, if not more. But. Maybe we, everybody's going to be at that Muskogee uh, Carl Albert game. Yeah. Boy, I'm telling you, that's going yeah. to be Come fire, on. baby. That's going to be fire. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I know you're excited yeah. about that game, man. You got some of the top players in the state of Oklahoma going against each other. They probably got one of the best quarterbacks around, too, uh, with, with Jamal Fricklin. I know he's trying yeah. to get his name on the map. And, you know, uh, I know you guys owe them one that came to your house last year. Hey, we, hey, we, we have Helped him get on the map last year. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thousand yards against us. Hey, he, hey, he's Co- a good one. Hey, Coach Dunn, I got a little one. I don't know where I'm going to send him. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 Coach Dunn, I've been working. Hey, I try to tell him. Him and Zoe's in the same grade, class of 2029. He's a good defensive back. He's a good running back. I, he he, he keeps talking about this Bishop again, as I keep yeah. saying. Hey, Kyle Albert got Jesus over there, too, now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling him, Coach we, D, I'm trying to pray, get hey, We pray before we play. That's it. That's it. That's it, Coach D. I'm trying to tell him, man, we might as well keep it rolling. Him and Zoe over there, man. We can make some noise in 2029, man. I mean, I'm just saying, if you're looking I'll let, for a I'll good let you, I'm going to let you handle that one, Tony. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do that recruiting, so I'm sorry, Coach. I'm sorry. But I'll tell you, Coach Dunn, thank you for coming on. Tell the wife. Yeah, I appreciate uh, you guys you know, you know, And the kids, give them hugs and kisses, man. And uh, enjoy your time off, sir. Thank you. All right, fellas. Appreciate you. All right, no problem. Bye bye. Going. But folks, that's Coach Dunn, man, the outstanding coach over at Carl Albert, man. I tell you, he's done a great job since he's been there, man. He's got things. Not he had to turn anything around. All he got to do is he's kind of like Puff Daddy. He's mixing it. He's plug. maxing it. And he's getting it going really plug good because he's plug and play. I mean, he, hey, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he knows that, hey, I got a QB that moved in. But guess what? We already got a QB here, so we got to go take care of business. No matter who gets the, who gets the call, he's going to put the right guy on the field. And you know what? Uh, coach Dunn's a fair guy. I don't see him doing nobody wrong. I mean, he knows what's going on. He's involved in every one of his sports from wrestling, like I said, to track, to tennis. I mean, Carl Albert got it going on, man. And me being a bomber, it's hard to say that, but I just tell you, man, you got to give him the props to the props because they're winning. And even over at Dell City, Coach Jones got it going on, man. I mean, he has some, some kids move in, but when you're winning, people's going to move in, you know, mm-hmm. and it's not taking nothing from nobody. Like I said, you just got to do the things winning the right plus way. Sending, uh, sending them off. And sending them, you're sending kids, man. When you got five kids, you look at this list, man Xavier Robinson, Marcus James, Tristan Hayes. Tayshawn Washington, uh, the QB, uh, what's his name? Kevin Sperry. Uh, uh, Kevin Sperry. All these guys has got recruited by is getting recruited by Oklahoma. Um, two of them's gonna go to Oklahoma for Pipeline. sure. I um, mean, and that just tells you right there what you're doing, man. And when you win, and people's gonna see that. Why would you not want to bring your kid there? You know, you had a kid moving yeah. from Bartlesville. Um, you know, he knows what all kind of talent they got there. And then guess what? He's trying to get himself on the field. But you know, they're gonna put the kids in the right spot. And like I said, some of these young guys, man. You know, you, we talk about like the hero. Uh, hero's a kid. That I think you know, in the next few years, you're gonna hear about him, man. You're gonna hear him from first from keeping 100 because I, I had a chance to, to coach the kid, be next to the kid, and watch the kid, man. I'm telling you. Hero, when we first got him, Jonah, could he catch a cold? Couldn't catch a cold. He couldn't catch a cold. But I'll tell you right now, what his daddy's wouldn't done, he got him at over at QB Impact with Tom George. He's out there every Sunday catching. And I'm telling you, man, he, he uh, might uh, be a better receiver than you. I, I got to give Deshaun props, man. We, I, I, you, know, you guys know I got kicked out of a game, right? I didn't get the coach. Oh, yeah. I, I saw you did some, you posted something about it on Twitter. So what's the story behind that? Man! Do y'all really want to get into that? Because I do. I, I need to know. I mean, I can. Let pro- me put it back on Keep no It 100. No, let me put it back on Keep It 100 before we get before we get out of here, and then everybody go pop fireworks. <laughs> let me put it. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Who get. gets kicked out of seven on seven? You, you know Tony what? Tony Johnson. Tony Johnson did. He did. He did. He did. He did. Tony Johnson. Did. I'm glad I didn't go that game. Uh, well, I, let me let me tell you real quick what happened. You know, a little bit was my mouth, but you know, Johnny can tell you all season, right? We played. Ten games, whatever, how many games we played. Did we ever get had to wear a mouthpiece? No. Did they ever say anything about jury? No. So, we have our home field, Carl Albert, right? Right. Biggie. Mm-hmm. But the games are moved to what? Oh, uh, that one place that uh, have lots for sale with no houses? Uh, they moved over to, to, to Chata <laughs> yeah. Middle School. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, I'm sitting there, man, and, and, and before the game, the ref was like, hey, you guys got to have a mouthpiece. I said, what? He said, you got to have a mouthpiece. I said, man, we ain't have mouthpiece all season. So one of the guys come over there, one day coordinators, whatever he is, he comes over there. And, you know, I, I was mouthy. So the ref kind of starts, you know, getting a little mouthy. And I got mouthy back. I said, hey, man, uh, you ain't going to talk to me like I'm a kid. You pull that jersey off me and you the same. Because, you know, if you hit what a you ref. Gonna do? You ain't going to do nothing. You, you know, if you, I am old. But, you know, if you if you hit a ref, it's a felon. So I, I ain't no dummy. I got I to pay my bills. I got to go to work. 
And so then, you know, I, I, I might have said shit, damn. I mean, I mean that's that's in, that's every, that's every day. I mean, they say worse words than that in in, in, in in rap videos and country videos. So he's a country. Um, so I got kicked out, you know. And so uh, props due to Deshaun. Um, he he carried him. Jonah didn't get to make it that night, so Deshaun did offense and defense. We both um, been in jail. We probably both been in jail. You know, I got fired up, man, because a guy that I thought was pretty cool. You know, I, I thought he tried to show out, you know, and, 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 you know, I mean, hey, man, I'm a grown man. You could have pulled me to the side and said, hey, T, calm down, man. Hey, let's get the mouthpiece. But, you know, he tried to get lippy and loud. But it's all good because, like I tell everybody. He had an audience. You know, so. Audience, you know, showing out. You know, like Mama said, don't don't shock because, you know, uh, you know, because grown folks is here. But it's all good because every dog has his day. Uh, good luck to them and, and, and what they're doing because I ain't got to pub my kids because my kids are real. So I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, exactly. It's all it's all good, you know. I mean, we end up we end up tying, you know. Great job. We beat more team that beat us twice, Big E. Yep. Uh, you we know, never they, had a full team though. No, no, we didn't. We always had some guys missing for baseball and football, but it sucks though. I didn't get to coach them, but those guys went out and played played lights out without me and, and, and beating that more team to end up playing uh, team and, and you know light and struck. Uh, so both teams end up t- uh, tying, but I, I'm excited for what those boys did. Uh, through the season, you know, like I said, Jonah said we don't always have a full team, but uh, some up and coming guys, you know, you know, we kind of mentioned some of them, but you know, I, I think that that class with those guys being eighth grade, being going into their freshman year, um, they got to do some good things. You know, we worked out, we caught balls, and you know, we covered. So uh, hopefully, they'll get better as the time goes. But yes, I can say I've been kicked out of baseball, football, basketball, and seven on seven, and not a restaurant. Never kicked out of a restaurant. No, I'm going to eat my food before I get kicked out. <laughs> but, guys, anything else, man, before we close this out, man? I'd say I think we back. Uh, you know, like I said, we, we still got to give our scholarship out. Uh, you know, I know we've been busy. Um, I got a young man in mind uh, that I want to give it to. We just got to yeah. catch up with that person and then give it to him. But uh, I said I, I just thank everybody for the support. Uh, real shout-out to my, my son-in-law, uh, him and then Peyton. They did their first uh, – Live show last Friday night. I saw that. Um, yeah. um, you know, he, he had me kind of on the show talking about the, my sign in the yard. Uh, you know, <laughs> if, you, if you guys haven't funny. seen my sign in the yard, and somebody keep testing me, but um, it, it says if you shit in my yard, if your dog shits in my yard, I'm going to go shit in yours. So my son-in-law <laughs> kind of did a skit on it talking about me pooping in somebody's yard, but I won't, but, you know, um, <laughs> it does makes me mad when I'm out there kind of cutting my yard, and I try to keep a That's a fertilizer. Nice, I don't need their dog to do it. Pick your pick your boo boo up and take it to your it's house. It's a corner lot. What do you think is gonna happen? I, I don't care. That's why I put the signs in my yard. Don't boo boo my yard. <laughs> but like I said, shout out to Cam and Peyton for doing a live show. Uh, he's taking it full time. I mean, he he's becoming big full time. time. Um, full time. You know, they're I doing need to thing. get a show. I need hey, a show. Man. I mean, I know we're keeping one hundred, man. Y'all need to start following us and liking hey. us, man. Give us a little couple commercials. They big time. And, huh? Yeah, yeah. They big time. You know. But uh, we're gonna keep doing our thing here. But like I said, we have fun doing it. We get to talk high school sport. We get to bring coaches on and let them talk about it, man. Coach Dunn's always a pleasure to talk to. And we'll get some other coaches on and uh, start talking. I'd love to get Jamal Franklin on, man. That boy's looking good. Yeah, we got to get him back on. Uh, I'm just telling you, man, he's looking good. You know, uh, Jamal, quarterback. Uh, quarterback from Muskogee. From Muskogee yeah. 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 You know, I'd like to get that uh, James kid on uh, from, uh, you know, I mean, I tell you, Bishop McGinnis had put something up the other day. Uh, I think they had his picture. Oh, she's not recruiting him? I don't know who's real. I know you uh, recruited him. I are mean, you talking about what uh, Madhu tweeted? Yeah, Madhu yeah. tweeted talking about this is home. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, um, it was home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He it said, was home. Yeah, Mark was like, where's home at? Talking about his college, like yeah. what college he wants to go to. And uh, Moses Madu, we actually had him on the show a while back. Yeah. He's a coach out there at Bishop McGinnis. <laughs> he says, Bishop McGinnis High School in Oklahoma City. <laughs> but I thought I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, oh, they're trying funny. to recruit him. Yeah. No, they're trying to get him back. Yeah, they're trying to get him back. Yeah, you're you just know. giving him a hard time. Yeah. But yeah. Get who back? I'm lost. Uh, Mark, Marcus James, he's a guy. He was at Bishop at, McGinnis, at Bishop but now McGinnis. he's at Carl Albert. Oh, okay. So, I think he's a from, linebacker. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, now we're on the same field. So, yeah. you know, so uh, they're trying to say come back home, but uh, I think he's found mm-hmm. home. But that's like I told Coach Dunn. I mean, you look at the young man. He went from, you know, and a lot of has to do. I mean, I know he said he's going to get recruited, but it's so funny. Man, that's he goes from over coach there. Coach is not recruiting. Uh, he goes over there, and boom, boom, he gets like, – Two or three offers in a week, yep. man. I mean, it just you know, and he went over to right at spring uh, spring games, and then it showed out. But like I said, it's gonna be interesting, man, because some schools gonna have some quarterback battles. Uh, I think you know, I know um, what's the kid over at Cha Cha, the, the quarterback uh, Smith uh, uh, Williams Cash. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're still trying to work out that. There's like three guys that they got that could be the quarterback. 
this upcoming season. So, well, what's the uh, kid that showed out in the spring? Uh, yeah, everyone heard. Uh, think Hayden Mounts. That's his name. Uh, I mean, I said this uh, kid is, is the real deal. Yeah. You know, he talked about the young man from Guthrie, but uh, I think uh, the, the the kid that you know eats and just the thing about it is, is like any of those three kids can go out there and play quarterback. You know, I mean, Choctaw, they're going to have a pretty deep quarterback. You know. Uh, you know, it's going to be the first year they got to replace still. You yeah, still I mean, did a lot of things yeah. for those guys, man. You know, uh, I mean, guy, you're talking about a guy that started, you know, sophomore through senior year. Yeah, I mean, and then, played, you know, played a little even bit came in and relieved Thad when needed to uh, his freshman should year. Should have so. started then. You yeah. crazy. Okay. Don't disrespect that like that. Hey, congratulations to Thad. Winning. I talked to Thad yesterday, man. He out there. He about to get married here yeah. in about a month. So I'm talking about football. I ain't talking about life. I'm just talking about life. I mean, he out oh, there. Yeah. about to get married. So congratulations to Thad and uh, Jack Funderburg about to get married. All these Jack young men. Jack getting married. Jack about to get married really? too. All these I young men, man, man, man getting married, man. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll uh, get married and I'm still over here single. That's all right. Hey, I, Gabe, and it, Gabe and Deshaun. Gabe and Deshaun single. I'll be getting my paychecks to myself. That's and, it. That's yeah, it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. So. As long as you can. Yeah, yeah right. that's it. Because yeah. uh, once you hit that 19 years, they get all that 401k. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like I said, I like to thank everybody. You know, keep liking, subscribing. I need. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll update our um, web page and put Jonah's pretty picture on there. It might help yeah. us um, um, get a couple more likes and views. So. Uh, uh, like I said, uh, we'll be getting our uh, OSA passes again and be catching these games and and and, and start all over again, man. Yep. Like I said, uh, uh, it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be a fun season. Okay, catching eighty some days, ninety seventy. Hey, it's it's there, man. I mean, hey, there's gonna be some good games. That 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 Chata, my fault. That Chata oh, yeah. Del City game kickoff. That'll be yeah, over. That'd be good. And, uh, is that Jack day one? Is that at, is that at Choctaw? It's at Chata. Okay. You know? What so week is it? That's, uh, that's week zero. Week uh, zero. Kick sure. it off. Or is the good. stadium gonna be done by then? Be. I don't know. I haven't I been over there. Who's stadium? Well, they're redoing. Well, they're, they're redoing the, the track, that bond they? that passed. Yeah, they're not I doing think everything the, now, though. I think they're just doing. Well, oh, okay, they're, they're just, just working on the track, track right yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Who is yeah. This? Uh, Choctaw. They had that bond that pa- passed like last year, uh-huh. but like with all the you know they're getting an indoor f- uh, f- athletics facility uh-huh. and you know yeah they're gonna be big time. They're gonna be up there with like Broken Arrow and Union and all that as far as the facilities they got. So I'll be quiet. <laughs> but yeah so i was just i don't know it was funny i was actually when i was flying back from florida we yeah. actually flew over the high school and i could see it out the window and like you could see all the construction being done and stuff i took a I picture haven't of been, like i said we played over at the middle yeah. school so i haven't been over that way man I don't even, yeah I, the I, middle, I, I, yeah that's where everything's been at now all time i go to school but you're not allowed all the time i go to Chata, i go to Chata walmart to check i wouldn't even the, go there i have to go check out the beer because i gotta stock it i wouldn't even check it i gotta stock it no I gotta stock it. They if it ain't get stock, I can't pay the bills. They may put it in a different location. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean different location? <laughs> <laughs> we better get out of here before some, somebody get mad. <laughs> they gonna put it in the Budweiser. Hey, Choctaw still loves me though. So they should love you. You graduated yeah, from there. Yeah, I didn't know. graduate from Choctaw. They can love you all you want. <laughs> I, I, at least I think they do. I don't. No, know. They don't like I you. Haven't, I haven't heard. I haven't heard nothing. They about. like you. Yeah. They still follow you on Twitter. Yeah. Facebook page. <laughs> Some of them do. Some, Some of them. them. That's all right. Yeah. They're not paying <laughs> your bills. It don't really matter. No. They, no. <laughs> hey, we love yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we love you. We'll catch you next time on what? Keep it one hundred, Oklahoma High School. We Sports. keep it one hundred. We out. See, See ya. ya.